James Colridge is a successful award-winning artisan bread baker who has turned his attention to artisan gelato. He has been tutored by Italian gelato maestros. He will represent Canada at the World Cup of Gelato in Rimini, Italy. Most days, he is the purveyor of Bella Gelateria next door to us in the Fairmont Pacific Rim Hotel building. It is my pleasure to welcome James Colridge to Studio 4 to show and tell us more. Hi, neighbor. Good morning. Well, why haven't you shown up before? Well, it's a sweet day coming up on Valentine's Day, and <laughs> you're well worth the wait like a nice dessert. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. How did you get into gelato and sorbetto, and tell me the difference? Well, the difference between gelato and sorbetto is gelato is made with milk, and we use Avalon Organic Milk, mm -hmm. and uh, sorbetto is made with water. Oh. We got into gelato basically because it's not about selling a product, it's about sharing an experience, and I, what we've done is taken my passion and developed it into a product that's really handcrafted from start, and okay. it's really about trying to be the best in the world every mm. single morning you make up and entertaining Vancouver with incredible gelato. And I know you're into small batches. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're not big on the production side of things. Um, in fact, you can't even see the gelato when you come into our gelateria because it's not about what you see, it's all about taste. So we use the best ingredients from around the world and uh, we're fortunate enough to be here in Vancouver because they know quality here. Yes, they do. Uh, look at our food scene in this city. Oh yeah. So when you say around the world, countries like Italy, um, uh, pretty much all over the world. We, we go to Tahiti to get our vanilla beans. Really? We get our Sorrento Italian lemons. We don't use a California Meyer lemon, we use a Sorrento Italian lemon. Uh, we use the pistachios from Bronte, not from Sicily, not from Italy, not from around the world, but Bronte, a small little designated Bronte? area. Bronte is on the northern slopes of Mount Etna in Sicily. It actually, I've been there. Yeah, these to pistachios the are considered green gold. We mm. actually bring them in, roast them ourselves, and we make them in paste mm. the week we make our gelato. We don't open up cans or paste them and sitting on shelves. We do everything fresh in small earthen right. batches. So you have to go to the Malfi Coast and go across to Sicily and just have a little fun. What a life. It's rough, but you know, and, if you want to be the... And have some limoncello along the way. Well, we have some for you today, actually. In fact, if you want to be the best in the world at whatever you do, you do not become a five-star gelateria by using one-star ingredients. Mm -hmm. You literally have to source the best ingredients from around the world. And we've taken the time. We have some incredible blood oranges here that are just coming to the season in the market. And when you cut them, you look at this incredible, beautiful Ooh. flavor here. And then you end up creating... Are those from uh, Palestine? The, the, or? No, no, these are from no. California. And you end up creating a beautiful sorbetto with them. In mm. fact, we create a whole product line of sorbettos and gelatos fresh every day. Our flavors change with the season. We don't do strawberries because strawberries are not in season. So we stay with the seasons and okay. only use the best. So uh, not necessarily local, but seasonal. Uh, local first. Local and first. And seasonal always. Okay, well, we don't grow too many blood oranges. That's right. They're in season. In Quetzalano. So, uh, not, not that I know. Not but, yet. So we, we, we source locally. For example, we use uh, Avalon Organic Milk, which comes from the Fraser Valley. And right. we're very clear about that. We use Agassi hazelnuts when we do a BC hazelnut. Oh, those we are good. We do lavender from Full Bloom Farms out in 264th mm. and Langley. We'll lavender and gelato. Oh yeah, really? it's so popular. In fact, you infuse the lavender into the gelato and the milk just absorbs the flavor. So every single taste, it's like incredible flavor. Oh, and what other uh, weird ingredient do you put in gelato? Lavender tea? Um, we do a green tea matcha, but I think one of the most exotic ones that we do locally is black sesame. Really? Black sesame is a very, very popular, but if you want exotic... So that sounds savory to me. Bl yeah, black Rather sesame is sweet. a nutty, sweet flavor, actually. It's black sesame from mm. Japan. We bring them in, roast it, and we make the paste the day we, the day we okay. serve it. Okay, more calories in a gelato or a sorbetto? Um, in a gelato because it has milk. I was thinking. Um, but the one thing about gelato and sorbetto is it shouldn't taste sweet. It shouldn't taste cold because if it's cold, it'll freeze your palate. In fact, when you come into the gelatina, because you can't see it, we're trying to preserve this little tiny ice crystal when in the moment it's born in a perfect state to the time you taste it. Okay. So we do kind of extremes. We'll do like Akbar Mashti, which is a Persian recipe, which has saffron rose water, pieces of Devonshire cream, and pistachios cut through it. Or we'll do kulfi from northern India, which is cardamom and saffron blended together. So we make all these exotic mm. flavors for the local community as well. Okay, so not too cold. Yep. Not too cold, secret, different than ice cream. Oh, ice cream, ice cream is definitely uh, 28 to 33% fat. The, our gelato is roughly around seven. So you can either have four times as much 
or you can have four times as much sure. pleasure by eating half. Well, when you go to the major dinners, as you know, you uh, always get a little sorbetto to cleanse the palate in between courses yeah. or at a certain point in the evening, all of that. So what's in that little bowl? Well, this little bowl here, and you're more than happy to, this is a blood orange that we have here that we made earlier this morning. This is a lemon from Sorrento mm -hmm. with the nice lemon zest. And this is jamaquia. This is a lavender. This is a flower, a hibiscus flower from Mexico City. Really? Yeah. And now, do you have a machine you do this in, or do you uh, stir we, it? We do, How all, do, you we do, do it, it all from scratch. It's labor intensive in the sense that uh, it's not easy to do artisan gelato. It really isn't. Well, but sure you know not. what? Vancouver appreciates it. So we don't mind spending 12 to 14 hours a day. So we make it all from scratch. And a machine? Oh, yeah. Our machines are the first in North America to have this uh, old style batch freezer, which you stand in our place. And we have this little saying called Nolo Fociamo Davanti a Tutti, which in English means of course you we do, do it. in front of everyone. <laughs> now, here they think it's an open kitchen. In Italy, they have a different mm -hmm. meaning for this saying. And we can talk about that another time. Okay. So, so we have I'll have a, to write that down. So we and have a beautiful chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, we use Michelle Cluzel chocolate, and we do everything from scratch with some of the best chocolate in the world. Michelle Cluzel from France. Cluzel from France. Yeah, and we have a dolce de leche and a very Argentinian recipe that we use where we, inf we make this uh, dolce, this caramel, over nine hours by cooking it in a pot with a touch of a vanilla bean. And we have a beautiful vanilla as well from Tahiti. So we have, wow. on average, around 24 flavors a day, fresh every day. We sell and it. And the make... most popular uh, little cone, at your, I, I'm assuming you put gelato in a cone, or do you just put it in a bowl? In both. We have ceramic bowls we serve for people who are sitting there, mm -hmm. plus we have uh, cones for people to take away. And I know you don't have bubble gum, so... No, we don't do the ice cream thing. What's your most popular flavor? It depends on the day. Right now it's blood oranges. Mm. Blood oranges are really good. And mm. mango. We're making mango in about an hour from now. We're using a beautiful mango from India. Ooh. And it's just going to be gorgeous. We're going to peel these and turn it right into a nice, beautiful sorbet. Okay. So the, um, the combos, too, you know, isn't it something when you can come and say, I'd like a little cappuccino, and then I want a chocolate, and then I want a this, and oh, yeah. all together. Uh, tell me about the cakes. Well, the cakes are gelato cakes. We make gelato cakes uh, within 24 hours of people asking for them. So we pick your flavors, and we make beautiful cakes. We've got a lot doing done for Valentine's. Is that all? All gelato is there. It's all gelato. Every so single, every, the whole strict. thing is, the whole thing is gelato. And it's, it's going to slide right off, you know, isn't it? It wants us and that we is, want it. Yeah, exactly. But it would sure like to slide on the floor, but we won't allow that. No. Well, the lights are hot, as yes. you know, so we know it's real. Yeah. So what's in that particular cake? This is a uh, chocolate noir, 85% dark chocolate with an mm. espresso using Milano local mm. coffee brewer. Mmm. Yum. That's, that's breakfast. Yeah, I just had a little brioche and we could have it, but it's gorgeous. You know, it, honey, it's been an incredible experience here in Vancouver. I could have gone sure. to Rome, could have gone to New York, but Vancouver for, for is, is a right. first world-class city. And it's nice, no matter what they say in the Wall Street Journal about us being one of the best right. in the world, the fact is Vancouver people get it. Oh, sure. And you miss making bread? Uh, uh -huh. No, no, I have much more fun with this. Bread, we, we kept making the same flavors almost all the time. This, you stay in season. Black Mission figs, using mm. honey nougat from Italy, using a nice, nice espresso, using the pineapples are coming in market. So, pineapple. so right. it's really, every morning I wake up and go, Hello. what are we going to do today? So for Valentine's, I guess you're giving, do you have a, a partner? Uh, yes, yeah, so for okay. sure. Okay, so you're giving a part, your partner this, aren't you? Or would it be a diamond? Uh, gelato. Gelato. <laughs> gelato. Gelato is a treat. From the store, dear. Yeah, and we're going to do a uh, what's called faluda, which is a rose water with rose red, ro mm. red rose petals and a rice noodle in it. It's a Persian recipe that we'll be doing what? special as long as a rice noodle. Rice noodle with rose water and red roses. That'll be one flavor we're doing for Valentine's, and the other is a white chocolate from Michelle Cousel with a red cinnamon through it. Mm. And so, do you sit up at night uh, making this up, and then you te and you test it, or what? Yeah. Pretty much all the Pretty time. Much. It doesn't the turn out. Passion going. doesn't go away just the because you sleep. The brain's going, I should say, not no. the head's going. And you go to the World Cup uh, two World, years, 2013? In, in 2012, 2012. Uh, in January. Uh, we're putting Team Canada together. Next year. Uh, yeah, I was there uh, just recently uh, on a, uh, with Team USA and Team Australia. And it's going to be an opportunity to, again, put Vancouver on the map in terms of being one of the gelato, best gelato cities in the world. Wow. And uh, do all of the uh, gelato uh, people have spoons in their sleeves? <laughs> I do, because I like to taste a lot. <laughs> so yes, okay. I do. This well, spoon gets washed and used a lot. That's very clever. Very observant of you. Yes, thanks for stopping Molte by. Molte grazie, ciao. Molte grazie. James Coleridge, uh, Bella Gelateria, next door to the Shaw Tower.